we're now into the third tutorial and what we're going to do in this one is we're going to take the um, aircraft and we, we can see I've imported the textures onto it so that we can see them um, and what we're going to do is we're going to remove the old mirage meshes so that we are just left initially with the um, the new mesh um, you can see here I'm going to go and click on local local generally contains just all your things such as the pilot seats and all those things all the hood dashes and all those kind of things along with it so I'm going to disable that that allows us when we do a search to be able to search and just highlight which ones um, are not part of local uh, I'll show you why so what I'm going to do is type in here mesh renderer and this will show us all the items that are uh, do have a mesh on them so you can see them all here now the ones that are in white are the ones that um, are not selected arguably now there's a there's a bit of a, a debate on some of these things but if we use removing local in the first place it's fine now what you can see is I'm going to highlight the three white ones there which show on the, the left hand side um, and you can see that when I skew, scout around you can see that they actually make up some elements of the original layout now what I've actually done is made a little bit of a thing here where I need to, to resolve that so what we need to do is we need to undo the the mesh renderer search at the top because what we've actually got is we've got some elements that are part of the F-15 so we'll click on the F-15 and you'll on there the new import and hide those by un making them inactive and now we're only left with the mesh that excludes the new mesh and excludes the pilot stuff you can see here it's actually still in there you can see one thing in there which is the throttle because it actually sits outside of the local um, probably should actually go inside the local as it goes but uh, not to worry too much so we'll just get rid of them that and make that inactive I think that's the only one yeah okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, probably best to get rid of that but you can see what we're actually left with is all the things that are part of the mirage in your case it'd be f15 but part of the f15 on the mirage that we want to get rid of and as we start to highlight them you can see on the right hand side mesh renderer still shows ticked what we're going to do is cl click on the three buttons and click remove component you could do it by switching it off and on but what we're going to do is do click on here and click remove component click on there and when the menu comes up you get remove component as an option click remove component and then we need to go through to do the same for all the various meshes here you can click on this one that's part of the engine so we're going to click on that again click remove component and that gets rid of that and we can do the same for all elements this bit obviously you can see is the handles and the, the top of the, the mesh so highlight all those click remove component on that and we're going to go through all those ones that are highlighted in white bit by bit and do a remove on those so I'll do that in high speed So now as we approach the last one, we'll just remove the body, a couple of bits of text here, and we'll scroll down, find the other bits, 
leave the file in place actually. Do so undamage model, click on that, click remove component of that. And now once we scroll back up to the top here, I'm going to click mesh renderer, the section mesh renderer. Now highlight that one and deactivate it again. And go into load call and activate that one again. What we should now see is that actually we have our vehicle in place with none of the old stuff in terms of the main body. We have the new body but with the old Mirage cockpit still. And then we'll look at that in a minute, you'll be able to see in a second. You can see these various pieces there. I'm going to remove that seat replace there. It's something that um, Boris had put in for me. So I knew where the seat should be. But you can see our pilot is now sat inside the F 15 with none of the other stuff showing. Which is good. We're kind of getting there now. Okay, so now we'll go back to the prefab instance folder. And what we're going to do is drag our F15 base back over the F15 base that we originally created and it'll tell us do you want to replace it? We click yes. And there we go, it replaces that. So we're kind of now in a situation where we have a prefab built with that ready to go. Okay, so what I'll show in a second here is down at the bottom, we want to, we want to click on things we can highlight them, what we're going to do here, kind of put that around, not sure, it's actually a little problem there, but we'll fix that afterwards, we've got a bit of mesh, mesh showing through still. I'll fix that in a minute. So what now I'm going to do is go to the descriptable objects pro folder and you can see in here it's the ZM2000 you also be called F15 STOL but this is the player vehicle element so what I've done is, is I've duplicated it by pressing Control D and I'm going to rename it to F15 STOL you will rename it to whatever vehicle you're going to be called so if it's F16 or whatever it has to be so now we have a new name so we're going to change the vehicle name give it a name that's more appropriate now you can call them anything you want at this point in here. So I'm going to call it F15 STOL slash MTD. Uh, change that to F oh, F15 STOL. Doesn't really matter what you call that either because it's not real, but it's something that creates in memory. The description is what you see when you start to load it up. So here I'm McDonald Douglas F15. We'll put some words around that later. It doesn't have to be done right this second. This is just getting set up in the first place. So you don't have to write too much in here yet. You can make that fancier later on and resave it. So put a little bit of wording in here. Like I say, you don't have to put this much in the first time you do it. You can always come back and edit these later. There we go. if I can actually type <laughs> okay cool I tried to type it through there it didn't work okay yep so it doesn't work okay interesting right nickname I'm going to call this after you install you don't want to really include any um, hyphens or anything in there preferably now we're going to click on here. What we're going to do is click Vehicle Prefab and we're going to choose uh, our new prefab when we do that. So I'll show you that in a second. So I'll click there and click F15 Chosen. Once I click on that little circle and choose F15 Base. We're going to leave these as they are right now because we're not going to go through the detailed parts of fixing this bit yet. But these are where you would create new versions of Loadout Configurator with all the pictures in and all the various button setups. But we'll do that at a later point. So we'll leave that for now. Because those just work. We don't really need to touch them as yet. Um, 
So there is one each there, and they, they're already included in the Yasa package. So we don't need to touch those. Okay. Then next, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you in here. At the bottom there, it talks about um, the equipped resource path. This is the standard weapons it will utilize. Um, and you can see in here, I've actually only brought across the F-26 one, which is, they're called A-Fighter. And you can see them all in there. And it, if you want to use a standard F-26 ones, they're in there, and they are listed in there, linked to those prefab. If you want to use other weapons, you're going to have to bring those across separately and differently. And we'll do a different video about how that would work. But that's a, a longer explanation. We're using the F-26 ones in here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Really easy. And we just leave them as all equipped prefab. Okay, so we've saved that. We can save that down, or it's saved automatically in the player vehicle elements. And what we're going to do next is we're going to look at the actual uh, model again. Here we are, back in the model. So we've now got the model uh, cleaned up that little error that was in there in the mesh. Everything underneath it. So we just collapse these up a little bit. These are all the elements that I've built into the model. Cool. So there's local. Now if we scroll in and have a look in closer here, you can see that actually it's still got all the bits from the Mirage in there, which is not what we want, but so we're gonna to have to fix those at some point. Really all we want is the seats and maybe some of the switches and stuff. This will be the same in the F-15 version you get, there'll be bits from that. But like you can see here, there's elements from the F-15 and elements from the Mirage 2000 as you can see the dash there so we're going to have to get rid of those at some point as well but that's fine for now but really what we want to do is initially is get this prep so we can actually fly it turn it into a flying uh, test vehicle so you can see what it looks like when it's in flight and how it looks inside the cockpit broadly speaking gives you some feel for how big it is is it correct etc and it's a nice thing to get done early on because it does feel like making a bit of progress when you get to this point just me, you're a long way yet, but still feel like you're getting somewhere. So what we're going to do is save back the prefab again. So we drag this down and we drag it over onto the top of F15 base. And when it comes up, we say replace. And that's fine. Let's save that down. And we're kind of getting to the end of where we want to be with that now. So we've got everything saved. We have a new um, player vehicle with a new name in it. And we'll do some testing. You can see here I've got the light sync and the old stuff. So there's plenty of things that still need fixing. This is a really early kind of prototyping of you get the plane sort of half working. And you could, you know, do the bare minimums on this and get it flying from this. Do some basic changes and it would work. You know, you would have a flying model of a, you know, if you want to make something like an F-22, you could bring a model in, dump it, remove the old stuff. And yeah, it would work, broadly speaking. Move a few switches around, kind of does the job. Okay, so we'll finish up there uh, and we'll move on to the next video.